Next, let's get oriented and let's set up our space where we're going to have our blog. So once you've done that, that initial uh, uh, first time uh, hitting get started over here, then the next time you log on to CI Keys, <clears throat> you, you can access it through this uh, area right here or this option here called Dashboard. So I'm going to click that now. And what you see here is what might appear to be a relatively confusing uh, a dashboard for you, for you all if you haven't seen this before. Don't worry about this too much now. What we really want to focus on is this bad boy right here, My Apps. This is where your different so so you've been given now what space on a server by CSUCI and you can do what you want with that space. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can create your own email, you can create your own database, you can do all these cool things. What we're going to do in that space that we're going to create, in that memory in the amount of memory been allotted, we're going to make a place to put a WordPress blog. So we're going to carve out a part of the internet. We're going to install some software called WordPress over here, and that's how we will uh, operate and show to the rest of the world our blogs. Okay, so the, how we're going to do this first is we're going to come up here and we're going to uh, create a space. Now, right now I have I have many spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to create what's called a subdomain, and I'm going to name it. So in my case, uh, my I, I've changed my configuration. So my configuration doesn't say Dr. A dot CI keys or whatever. Mine says PirateLab.org. More on that later if you're so interested. You can choose to to get a uh, another domain name um, and then essentially redirect from CSUCI into that web domain name. Um, don't need to do that. Um, just know that mine doesn't look like yours in the sense of it doesn't end with CIKeys.com. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this uh, 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 test. I'm going to call this uh, uh, Capstone Test 2020. Okay, and I'm going to create this space right now. There is no. There's just empty memory. I'm going to say, "Hey, make a place that's called this bad boy." Okay, so now it's been created. Uh, the very first time you do this, I believe you'll already have a space, but you're welcome to create additional subdomains if you want. Okay, so I've done this. I've come in and I've, I've created my space. Again, you don't have to do this. I just don't have a space to install this. Once I have my space established, once I have my space established, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to install WordPress. So I'm going to come up here. There's addition. If I, if I click right here, all applications, there's all kinds of other things. You are more than welcome to create a different subdomain and install these things. You can make a wiki. You could, like I said, make your own email uh, addresses, all kinds of cool stuff. So you, you're welcome to explore this, but that's not what our focus is. Um, so we're going to come to this thing right here under applications. It says WordPress right here. I'm going to click WordPress and I'm essentially going to say, all the software that makes this thing called WordPress, I want to install this in my space. So I'm going to come up here where it says install this application. I'm going to say install this application. Okay. Now I'm going to say where is it? Again, if, if you haven't done anything, it'll just be your single domain. In my case, uh, I have a multiple ones. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to find that. Okay, here we go. So Capstone Test 2020. Now have a look here. Um, there's one that says Capstone Test 2020 PirateLab.org or www Capstone Test 2020 PirateLab.org. Um, it doesn't it doesn't uh, so much matter, but uh, I want you to pick the one that has the S in it. Okay. You'll also see there's one here that has says HTTP uh, colon slash slash. We want to pick the S, which is which is the secure version. And because I want everybody to find it. Um, and I don't care if I have www, I'm going to click this one. Okay, so here we go. I've picked my domain name. Next, and so I want you to follow these steps. Okay, you guys got to follow these steps that I'm going to, I'm giving you right here. So we've picked the right domain name where we're going to install the, the, the code. I'm going to come here where it says blog. I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so that it doesn't say blog. And then I'm going to pick the recommended thing here, the English guy here. And then where it says content, notice that it says, give me a clean WordPress install. We do not want to do that. I want you to pick where it says ESRM capstone template. I'm going to pick this one right here and I click this radio button. And that's the install that I want you to use. 
uh, we can leave this fine, we can leave this fine, we can leave this fine, this fine, and this fine. Now, administrator username. So this is gonna be the way that if you need to log on not through uh, CSUCI, how you can uh, do stuff. Sometimes some of the plugins, which we'll talk about what those are in the future, might also ask you for your administrator name. So I'm just gonna change mine to something. And uh, we can say show password, right? Or we could generate a password. Doesn't matter. Um, uh, uh, I recommend you you pick something you can remember. Um, and again, you want to have a strong password. So you want to have many letters. You want to have capitals and lower cases, and you want to have a funky symbol in there as well as a as a, uh, a numeric variable. That'll that'll and the longer the better. So um, I'm gonna say this is so if when you're stuck one way you can make uh, longer passwords is just to say, spell out a sentence i'll copy this so i can save it for later i will go to um let's say my my um uh, an excel sheet or a word sheet or something like that i'll say i want to save this i'm just going to note to myself i'm logging th this is my this is my um login and there is my password Okay, so I, I don't lose that. So there we go, got that. Now, uh, what's my administrator email? Uh, you can put whatever email you want. You can put your school email, if you have a Gmail, what have you, that's great. This stuff here that says um, uh, website title, we can change this later, so don't worry about it. But you do want to have a website title. You do want to have a tagline. Um, uh, if you want to throw something in there for now, that's great. Um, but don't worry about it. Um, we can leave the rest of these things uh, as they are. And now I'm gonna hit, so I've, I've configured all this. Again, most importantly here, I've picked the ESRM capstone template and I've deleted the blog where it says blog uh, in, the, in the optional directory option. Those are the most important things. Now I'm gonna come down here, hit install, and it's gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna think. And then it's going to install the code to create this website. And here it is right here. Again, you won't have all these other websites that I have, Coastal Wiki and Beach List and all these things. Um, but it'll it'll take some time, depending on how fast your internet connection and things like that are. And it's going in, going in, going in, going in, going in. And then when it reaches 100%, it'll change. Once it changes to this, we know that we are good. Now, again, where I'm putting in my notes for remembering with my, my administrator ID and my password, also want to check this out. So this is our website. This is going to be my website right now. So capstonetest2020.piratelab.org. So if I want to share that with anyone, if I want to put it on a business card, if I want to put it on the end of my email, whatever, this is the thing that I want to share with people, okay? Whenever you log into CI Keys and... Uh, uh, want to edit this, this is the link you're going to want to uh, use. So you can also copy this link for future reference. This third link here is just uh, essentially a user manual for WordPress itself. So again, the middle link right here is going to be the one that you uh, use to do any edits or click on when you want to do edits. This is the one if you just want to see what it looks like and or share uh, to the outside world this is one you're going to select. The other thing I'll just point out since we're here orienting ourselves <clears throat> are these guys over here. So this one right here, this this wrench looking thing, uh, we can we can look at the the specifics of the install and all this and that. Uh, this guy right here will back up a copy of our website. So before you do anything major, you know, huge revision, change the template, which you don't know what that is yet, you know, any kind of big transformation, you want to back this up so that if you do screw something up, you can always easily go back and, 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 and make things the way they were beforehand. I can also clone this if I wanted to make a duplicate of my website, say to um, uh, move to another service or something of that nature. I could also delete it. Now this will delete the install of WordPress entirely, so we don't want to do that. Also notice right here, I've never backed this up yet. Once I start doing backups, and you can configure that to do automatically or just whenever you want, um, there would be 
more backups. So at that point, just to make sure everything's working great, all I want you to do is click your the, the middle link that links to your wp-admin, and here we go. So, so this is your website. I can come up here and I can say view site, this is what your website looks with, looks like to start with. So next, we'll talk about the aspects of WordPress. We'll talk about how we do our, um, how we can edit our blog, and how we can get things going, um, so that you can configure this default template to work really well for you as a formal research presentation to the rest of the world of your identity.